And hello, Shock fans. Rip the full blown freak show back for another Rips Robot Mode reviews. And today we've got a big boy, Payload from Hunt for the Decepticons. Um, uh, uh, Hunt for the Decepticons Voyager class Payload. Uh, it was the it's a repaint of the long haul mode, but for some reason I just love Payload a hell of a lot more. I own long haul, but there's something about lime green. But then when I get Payload, he's dingy yellow and gray and purple and black and with dirty brown wheels it's just better um, I know you're the, the, the thing that I noticed the most that people are going to notice is I did remove it because it's on a joint that you can remove uh, the piece on his back that makes part of the truck hang really low down uh, but I left everything else uh, articulation wise uh, but he's big he's big that's all you need he looks like a brute and he can do the I'm going to kick your ass pose really well. So, yeah, the head, it's its hard to see. Uh, let's see. I probably have a light here. Yeah, I do. Let me get a wrap of the light. Because it's getting dark and I need lights for this. Okay, the head is in there. There it is. I'll see if I can do the light popping. I should have been doing this from episode one. There is light popping there. I'm pretty sure. Let me find it. The whole back of his freaking head's red. It should. There we go. I just recently found this light, so now I can actually start testing light, light, light piping on the show. Um, uh, Articulation-wise, though, yeah, his head does go left to right. Uh, that's it. Uh, when you turn it, there's some gears in his chest that move. Um, his arms can... Oh, I disconnected it. Yeah, that joint is much least looser on this figure. I, you will disconnect his waist a lot. Uh, his arms can go... Up, and they can move in and out. His hands have this... Or not his hands, his arms up here where it moves here has this really cool effect they make you look like there's pistons pumping uh and his hands can move in and out that's about it the other cool thing that i love is that you press this button on the truck bed and bam two hatchets halberds whatever you call them yeah and these are blood red long hauls were clear a decepticon's weapon should be red um uh get these arms back down the junk on his head, it's movie accurate, so I really can't complain too much. Um, uh, I just wish the waist locked in better. Um, the legs are pretty cool the way they transform. I know I have him backwards right now because I can't see what I'm doing. His entire back is a brick. Um, uh, legs can swivel here, go in and out, back and forth on nice ratchets. The knees are double jointed and they bend. Um, uh, and the toes can pivot a bit, but it's not really going to do you much good. I just like to stand him in a... Let me set him here. And I, I just like to stand him in a really wide stance and have his arms like trying to grab something. It's much better. It's more of a... I have him on my definitive display simply because I like the fact that he's just a massive... I mean, he just... he's. I think he's like a douchebag, you know, like... Um, uh, I think he just... If you're making a sandcastle on the beach, you just run by him and be like... Kick it over or something. You know, hey, hey, Megatron, I'm a douche. That would be it. He'd be the kind of dude that... He's the kind of dude that tells you keep the change when it's only like two cent. Yeah, he's that kind of dude. <laughs> but I think he, this is the look at him. I know he's that kind of dude that would be loyal, but he would also be as dumb as hell. He would just be so stupid. It, like, I, I could see him like just... I see him as Tankor a bit from Beast Machines before Rhinox took him over and possessed him and all that crap. Like when he was just like stupid Tankor. That's what I could see him as. Uh, this kibble annoys me. So yeah, that's all I've got to say about this figure. I got him. He's a Voyager, but I got him pretty cheap. So I'm not. I wouldn't suggest going too batshit crazy trying to get this guy. But um, uh, he's def. He's definitely worth. I'll say 25 for a display piece. So, yeah. He's big. Uh, I almost forgot to do a size comparison, I think. I'm not sure. But here, I'll do it again in case. Here's a se deluxe seeker. And it barely comes to his... His head barely comes to his crotch. Um, uh, why does Thundercracker's face come to everyone's crotch nowadays? Okay, anyway. Um, uh, that's all I've got to say about this. Um, uh, figure. Go for it. It's it's worth it. Um, uh for the right price. So yeah, this is your beloved soldier of the inverted cross. Rip the full-blown freak show. Signing off. Farewell.